All right, quick update, guys. I'm here in Texas right now, and I am stranded because Western Express just fired me. They did not give me a reason why. It's crazy because I didn't do anything wrong, but I don't know how I'm going to pay for my Corvette now. I don't know how I'm going to pay my mortgage or any of my other bills. Wow. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. It's crazy because I didn't do anything wrong, but... Mar, the trucker. Mar. The sexual assault of a minor. Mar, it ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. Did I do that? This guy had came across my page once too many times. He says that nothing that he does in trucking is his fault. Ever. Ever. Every everything that happens to him, negative, you know, like trucking and everything, he says it ain't my fault. Did I do that? All right, guys, I think I'm fired. I made a little oopsie right here at this wrist area, um, right here between New York and Pennsylvania. Um, as you see, I went through this ditch, but it really wasn't my fault. Let me walk down here and show you guys what exactly happened um, because it wasn't my fault at all. You know what I'm saying? There was something wrong with one of my tires, and um, basically, I took out all that equipment down there. Um, uh, I just went off the road. You know, I lost control because I guess one of my tires flew off or whatever. There's a piece from my truck right there. I'm not sure what part that is, but uh, yeah, I just I just went all through. I went all off the road, and knocked all that stuff out, and uh, the wrecker already got me out. Um, I'm just waiting for a ride because they couldn't uh, couldn't ride in the truck while it's getting towed. But I, uh, um... nothing ever is this guy's fault he says that his tire blew off or whatever the case and he ran into all of that but if you guys listen carefully let's rewind it and hear what he said about his gps again i mean it really wasn't my fault you know I, I, my gps my gps my gps it looked like the rest area was further down the road so it's not your fault there huh buddy uh, just like getting stuck in that ditch that wasn't your fault either huh he's not done so i didn't get fired western express put me in a loaner truck which i believe is actually a permanent truck because i think the last one might be totaled but anyways i mean it really wasn't my fault you know I, on my gps it looked like the rest area was further down the road so when i finally had entered after the tire had blew off um i just didn't have enough time to slow down so yeah it really wasn't my fault at all so i didn't get fired he finally said the name of his company well old company because he comes back and tell you guys this so i actually got a call from our safety department this morning which is kind of strange because they're routing me to our terminal in texas but they did not tell me what it's about so uh i have no idea what they want but we'll see <laughs> i didn't do anything wrong so i should be fine you know this guy be trolling way too much man <laughs> I didn't do nothing wrong. I should be fine. You know, my my safety department is routing me to the terminal. And the only reason why your safety department would be routing you to a terminal is because you did something wrong. You did something wrong. Trust me. I know. Believe me. I know. I, I got firsthand of being routed to a terminal, you know, due to safety precautions. He would now tell you what happened when he got to the terminal all right quick update guys i'm here in texas right now and i am stranded because western express just fired me they did not give me a reason why it's crazy because i didn't do anything wrong but i don't know how i'm gonna pay for my corvette now i don't know how i'm gonna pay my mortgage or any of my other bills wow damn you got to be a stupid motherfucker to get, to get fired from western express well <clears throat> Western Express wasn't for the games. How could you, how could you get fired from Western Express? Somebody answer that for me. I mean, I a lot of truckers that I had talked to that drove for Western Express, all of them had quit for whatever reason, but they quit Western Express. How can you get fired from Western Express, a second chance company, and you got fired from it. But wait, 
Dej Moore. He says he got a new job. Let's find out where he's gigging at now. So I drove for Hirschbach for a month. All right, great news, guys. I ended up going to Super Ego. <laughs> I called them yesterday. They got me there. They actually put me in a truck the same day. That's why I'm still out here on the road. Um, you see, I actually have over a year of driving experience, man. Zero accidents, zero tickets. And uh, despite all the rumors, nothing on my record. I can practically get hired at any kind of trucking company I want to. So, <laughs> I mean, that's that's all there is to it. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to keep paying my uh, for my Corvette. You know, I'm going to still be able to pay my mortgage. You know, God is good. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. <laughs> Western and Express fired this guy. Fired. Now, they, they fired. West, listen to what I'm saying. Western Express fired this guy only to get hired by by controversial trucking company Super Eagle out of Illinois. <laughs> mm, is he a company driver? Is he a lease driver? We don't know, but we he says that Super Eagle, as we can see, he's in the truck. He's in the truck. He says Super Eagle gave him a chance. Let me explain something. Let me let me go into a little bit detail. But before I go into detail, let's hear what this driver has to say about this young man. Hey, what's up, y'all? So um, I came across last night this video that a friend of mine had stitched. And in the video that she stitched, there's this gentleman that... Um, had said uh he got fired from his mega carrier okay and they took the truck back out of terminal i'm assuming and he was stranded i got nosy i went and looked through his, his account his content and um you know there was videos of him whether it was a joke or not uh editing his log because he was in you know hours of service violations before right oh wait a minute that's right that's right i forgot about that thank you my guy I, I appreciate you reminding me of that. Let's go back and see what he was doing with his laws on video. Don't be suspicious. 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 Don't be Um, you know, and there's videos of him recording himself while driving the truck. There is videos of him being in his personal car going over the speed limit. There's a video about him going off into a ditch. And, and in the video, there wasn't a lot of context, but he said it wasn't his fault. I, I don't know how, but anyway. Um, in any case, look, I know all that stuff seems harmless. I know you should be able to post whatever you want to post, right? I know there's people that are going to be like, well, why does that matter? Well, because for new drivers especially, you know, if you've been around for a minute and you, you know, work for a different or a smaller outfit maybe you can get away with it um i know i might i probably wouldn't be able to but um my advice to these new drivers and to people that are going through and getting their cdl is that every not everything is for social media because anybody can come and see that kind of content what likely happened is that guy was like it's not my fault that i got fired and that may have been the case from his perspective it may not have been his fault but what made it his fault there may have been a chance somebody from his company saw that same content and was like he's a, you know there's a pattern here we got to protect ourselves the company is always going to protect themselves they you know their insurance and their legal team are really who determines you know if they're going to hire you or fire you or keep you whatever because they have to deem you how much of a risk you are there you have it martha trucker mr it ain't my fault mr I'm a super trucker, Mr. I'm the best trucker in the world trucker. You know, let my man slow, uh, my man slow walker calls him little buddy. <laughs> Look, let me explain something. All right. I agree with the last gentleman said, the one that went to assess his content and he's right. Everything is not for social media, especially if you're doing some ill stuff. You know, all that stuff, actually everything that he posted, the ditch, 
the running off the road, the 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 editing of his logs. You know, the company sees that. You know, companies sees videos. Now that everybody knows where he works at, of course everybody is going to tag Western Express. And when Western Express get a a feel for the video, the first thing they're going to do is route you into the terminal and take care of you. You became a liability, bro. You became a liability. Maybe they maybe they said cool on the ditch situation because you know it was dark or whatever the case. But everything else that you have done on your social media, they 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 don't want you. It's not worth it. They're not going to sacrifice their insurance for you, bro. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah.